When the sun suddenly stopped in the sky, calamity followed. Stone armored dredge poured out of the north. A darkness bled across the land, and a world devouring serpent carved chasms in search of something. The races of men and Val fled south in vast caravans, dealing with the dredge general Bellower and the treachery of Borsgard's governor, Rugga, to eventually arrive at the human capital of Arborang. Rugga's scheming and old rivalries with the king of Arborang poisoned their chances for safety. Can they restore the peace before the city turns on itself? Juno and Ivand, powerful spellweavers who claim they can turn back the darkness, continued on to the Valka libraries, where a terrible confrontation left Manahar in ruin. The spellweavers now have no choice but to push into the darkness itself, protected only by a spell of light and a reluctant crew of mercenaries. Will they be able to drive away the darkness before all of Arborang and humanity is swallowed up? And at what cost? One way or another, the saga comes to a close. We were as far from safety as we could have been. Me, Rook, and Alet, in a small town of Skor. So much has changed since then. We traveled the length of the world to escape serpents and dredge. And still it was not enough. What I do now is madness. Somewhere in the darkness, I've been told, lurks an answer to all our desperate questions. I will make sure it sees the light of day. All I care about now is that the friends, no, the family I fought to deliver to Arborang, live to see the sun move again. <laughs>